Hello there, Captain Goujon here. Just playing a bit of House Flipper today. Thought I'd try and do the old fashioned polishing of a turd. This game was recommended to me and I'm all about recommendations because I am not very inspired. So yeah, we're just gonna try and take a house, make it good, put our little, you know, Goujon stamp of approval. Because I myself am a man who has a taste for nice things. Welcome to House Flipper. This game will allow you to buy, renovate, decorate and sell houses. For now, however, you need to be content with this shack that you can call your office and laptop that is your command center. Delightful. I'm a man of means. Let's have a look inside. Oh. Just like home, really. More food on the worktop than there is on the plates. More rubbish on the floor than there is in the bin. About right. And a MacBook. Friggin' normies. Ugh. Tidy house, tidy mind. Although I feel like now I look probably more like a serial killer given that I have my emergency saw and rape hammer at the side of the bed along with my uh, sleepy time axe, which is sort of an alternative to a nightlight, I guess. Wow, I love an email from a customer who has no social skills. I'll pay you in full if I'm satisfied or you get nothing. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna, not going to fucking bother that, aren't I? Go on then. The guy's got charisma and charm. So, let's do the cheapest possible radiators. It costs tight. So tight. That's got a radiator. Radiator there. That needs a radiator. That needs a radiator there. Okay. Cheap. Cat burglar simulator. How about abuse of trust simulator? People don't actually have anything in these houses. Just empty. Ooh, that's gross. Actually, is this brown? Oh, yes. Red. Nothing screams subtlety like red and gold. Awful. I'm learning so much. How would you get into these fixings? Given that they're inside... Ah, okay. Got you. Great. So now I'm a gas engineer. Fantastic. Towel radiator. Okay, so he wants another radiator in here as well. Since he asked so nicely in his email... I'll allow it. Oh, there. That's, that seems like a... Seems like a very high location for a radiator. Lovely. 600 pound up. I mean, if I'm buying a house in the UK, I'm going to I'm gonna need at least 500,000 pound for a one-bedroom flat. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Modern art. Have you not heard of it? Painting. Let's make a right mess. Man, I hate, I, I hate decorating in real life. So this is like paying to do nothing of use. What a horrible colour. You idiots. That's a very dark grey. Let's definitely upgrade the painting skill. What matters most? Speed. 25% faster painting or two walls at the same time. We'll go with that, because I'm not sure what it means. Oh my god, this is just taking a lifetime. No more decorating jobs, please. We haven't turned the mains off or anything like that, we're just going to get our fingers right in this socket. What is the worst that could happen? Curly hair, maybe? Again, electric surging through the power lines, but somehow not dead. Put the bed back. No crusty socks under there either, which is a nice change. Are we done? Can't be done. The progress bar says... Ah, oh, there's still an outlet to fix. And apparently I've still I've missed some paint somewhere. So that's that. I need to find the faulty plug socket, wherever it is in this living room. 20 minutes later. Oh my god, it's there. Jesus Christ. My god, I've done it. Oh, emotional. I've made it. I've made it. Look at me. £800 is all that was worth. Home sweet home. Every morning I wake up and I look at the ceiling and I just see these icy blue eyes staring right back at me. And it just reminds me that you're going to die one day. I feel like these tools are purely decorative, so I'm just going to keep the rape hammer. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh well, never mind. Less is more. 
See, I really like the hobo aesthetic, but it's not its not to everyone's taste. I love that they've just made the bed, but not washed the sheets. It's absolutely grim. At least the bed bugs will be comfortable. It is quite therapeutic playing this game. I wish I found cleaning my own home therapeutic, because I wouldn't live like a heathen that way. I think I need to work on like a, a unique selling point of my house flipping business. You know, every good company has like a calling card or something it does that it reminds people that they've been there. I definitely need to work on that. I've realized the secret to cleaning windows real fast is turning up the sensitivity on the mouse. I wonder what it looks like from the other side, someone just frantically scratching at the window. We'll find out momentarily how much they want us to decorate when I start painting. I have a feeling it's going to be all the walls. Yay. More painting. More painting. <sighs> well, look at this. It's just lovely. I really put blood, sweat and tears into this. And while I was doing it, I was thinking about sort of, you know, an alternative on a business card. You know, some people remember you by a USP. And I want people to feel safe and, and looked after. So I feel like the only way to do this is by having the grace of God looking down over you. Look at those soft, warm eyes. Beautiful. Oh, I need two poofs. I'm fairly happy with this. It's nice and clean and tidy and homely. The baby's room is just gorgeous. Let's get all the things they asked for and more. That job paid really, really well, Jeebus. I'm really, really grateful for everything you've done for me so far. It's, uh, I'm honoured. I do love smashing stuff. I'm just hoping I've got the right room. So, I can't remember what the actual... So I can't remember what the customer actually asked for. They want me to change the room layout, which I've done. Now, I... Ah, the wall's there. Also, it didn't ask me to decorate. So, I'm not going to. I think we've done. I think we've done all the tasks. That's done, that's done. Amazing. $2,480 richer. Perfect. You know what? I think people, what people really want in a new house is an open plan toilet. What's not to love? Sweet. So we're going to we're going to have a fresh start. We're going to get rid of all this as well. We'll just retain one single cup for my uh, evening pot noodle. So we're going to take these walls out. And we're going to do open plan living. I've seen like on on grand designs when there's a very short wall between the bed and the toilet area because there's nothing more romantic than listening to your significant other taking a giant dump straining to get it out sexy get rid of both windows in fact we're gonna get rid of all the windows for the time being just so we can really see it for the blank canvas that it is so we we're basically living like an incel so while I want it to be nice I also want it to be cheap. Oh wow, that's expensive. Good God. Standing cabinets, there you go. That's it. Right, let's have a look at the most economical, also known as the cheapest. Fantastic. Nice, cold, industrial floor. People like that shit, don't they? So we need to put some toilet facilities in. Uh, and maybe some light sources because it's a bit dark because this brilliant white unit it it makes everything else look shit I know it seems a bit weird but we're going for like contemporary design trust me it's going to be amazing oh look at that we've also increased the floor space just by you know putting windows in so it's, it's a win win really now, as much as I love the signature sink look, uh, it's not for me, if I'm totally honest. Landlords, fine. People that I'm paying my bills, also fine. Don't want it in my house. It looks shit. So it's going to go for a straight up porcelain and white job. 
because it'll just sort of tone in really nice with the style of the property, you know, that open, vulnerable look. Vulnerable's not a word I've heard used often in the design industry. However, I feel like that's what people want. They want to feel exposed and uncomfortable. And this bathroom is going to revolutionise the way that we poop. Oh, yes. If this doesn't say Los Angeles living, I don't know what does. Everyone loves this shit. And they look like trash. I think a safe place for it is directly next to the water source. We need something that's going to be space conscious and practical. Before you start going on about, oh, it's a kid's bed. It's not. The businessman's location. This is what they're all doing in Japan now. We're going to revolutionise modern living. We're going to have two. We're going to have three in this space because what I like is when I wake up in the morning the light's burning my eyeballs out it's also kind of like a nightlight stroke carousel so if I'm struggling to sleep you know it's fine that'll be there we're spinning around counting my sheep fast asleep so I guess what I think I like most about this property is that it, it looks like a bit of a dump from the outside and then you, you sort of go in and you're wowed by the revolutionary concepts of open living. So you got a nice open plan, shower, toilet and sink area. The sink also does double up for washing dishes. Um, and we can only have takeout as there is there are no kitchen facilities. However, if you did want to make a cheesecake, you can use the rape hammer to smash up biscuits and the knives to do knife things. And then we've got the cosy area with a nice big open space window to look out onto the garden that does need a little bit of work. And then the um, combination working from home sleeping space, which is uh, Japanese inspired with the bunk bed, spacious bunk bed, night light, stroke carousel, stroke alarm clock if you want to set your timers up. And a big mirror to do your hair, get dressed in and just generally do Christian Bale, American Psycho type shit in it. One of the, my favorite features is the positioning of the light switches. So we're putting them at a height that's acceptable for everyone. So if I've got a semi on, I can just walk up to the wall, click clack, lights on. Click clack, lights off. So I'm, I'm really happy with the results from before. See if I can, if I can be asked getting a screenshot of before uh, to now, you know? I think it's uh, very Angelesian. So I think I'm gonna buy Freddy Krueger's house and sell my house. Just to sort of give me something else to work on. So here we are, my newest acquisition. The uh, the location for many child murders. But you know, it's a house with character and backstory. And people love history. Oh my goodness. It looks... I like it. If it was a feature property, you know, and the, the, the burned out style was part of its charm then totally cool with that um yeah bit of work to do and i'm thinking we'll probably pick that up in the next video i've quite enjoyed playing this so i might make this into a little series just see how we do see how far i can go um so yeah this has been house flipper and if you've liked this shit like this shit share subscribe do what you gotta do and until next time captain gujon out